Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking, wild camping, your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today we need to clear something up. It's probably my most controversial review ever. My tent peg review. And in particular, one tent peg. The Delta Ground Anchor, aka the Delta Peg. People are not happy with my review of this Delta Peg. I stand by it. I'm not say, saying sorry at all. It's really, really hard to get into the ground. Now, why would you even use something like this? Well, for a start, in the right circumstances, they are superb. So for instance, this reason why I bought these, um, for a trekking pole tent. So you've got your two big sides. It's really, really important on a trekking pole tent to have that anchored into the ground. So you'd only need two of these on a trekking pole tent, one on each side, but it's getting them in the ground. It's really, really difficult. Now, if it's the ground softer, you get them in, you get them right down, you get them down as far as you possibly can in the soil, that is when they're most likely to stay in place. Now these Delta Pegs, they're 49 grams each. You can buy four for £12.90. I'll put the links in the description. Believe me, I've got no affiliation with them. I don't think they'd be too pleased with what I had to say about them. Um, but they were made in conjunction with Exeter University and they are award winning too. So they are, and I'm not saying this, they are a superb tent peg. They really, really are. I just think the ground has got to be suitable for these. Now, it's dry at the moment, it's really hot. These are the pegs that I think you should be using. So you've got this sort of peg, which is like, um, uh, like a groundhog, sort of MSR style, big, thick tent peg. These aren't good enough. These are too thick as well. Even though they're bladed, they're really difficult to get in the ground. When it's really dry, this sort of time of year, something smaller is actually much, much better. And this will sit in the ground really, really nicely. And even thinner than this, this is one from like Decathlon, but I know some other temp brands also use this style peg. I absolutely hate these. However, when the ground is rock solid, they're really good. Because there isn't much sort of surface area with these, you just need to get these right down into the ground. So your guy is right at the end, right into that ground, and it should hold it firmly. Right, so the controversy started because I was putting these Delta ground anchors in with my trainers on. In fairness, yeah, okay, fair play. I should have been doing it with hiking boots on because that is when you would use these. So I've got my heavy duty sight working boots. So let's try and give them a go. Ah. That ain't going in, it's just not going in. So, meet plan B. Right, let's get this in. Um, whoops, right, take two. Right, so with a mallet, you can get them in the ground. Obviously the ankle that I've got there isn't great because these should be flush with the ground. But it goes to show, you can get them in, you just need a mallet. But I didn't want to give the wrong impression. These are great, they're really well made. Super tough on nylon, composite. You know, they're like 24 mil wide, 160 mil, 160 mil. They're really big. You don't need many of them for backpacking. I would say two, four at the absolute tops. I think where these are really good is where 
you've got like a big camping tent, like a big birdhouse family camping tent. You know, if there's wind around, these are rated to, I think, 70 kilos. You know, you need something that's not going to pop out the ground. And when you're family camping, you can take like a mallet with you. I might have said in some of my responses, you need a sledgehammer to actually get these in the ground. But I think there's a little bit misunderstanding. I should have been a bit clearer to what I really thought about these. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying you've got to be careful when you use these in the ground conditions for them. So anyway, I'm sorry for the people that I offended. <laughs> it's my most controversial video. If you want to see it in full, I'll put a link in the description. I'll tag it to the end of this video. But I hope you have a great summer, guys. The weather's just starting to turn. Don't leave it till tomorrow. Get out there today and make the most of the sunshine because it won't be round for long. Okay, so hope to see you backpacking soon. Cheers.